Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha and Investments. Today we're going all the way back to the 2016 world famous Pokemon. Ready? Ooh, I did it right. Alright, hold on. Ready? Pokemon Generations. So this is a extraordinarily rare product to have in sealed boosters. Um, the single cards themselves aren't worth a whole lot, but man, you go on eBay, type in Pokemon space XY space generations and hit like just PSA and press enter and look at the sealed, or I'm sorry, the graded card market for these things. It is unbelievable. The premiums and the prices that people pay for graded eight, nines, and tens of Pokemon generations cards. It is in, it's, it's wild folks. So sit back, relax. This video is from my patron, Ryan over here. Ryan, um, I'll be honest with you. Good luck, because, man, these things are expensive. So this is going to be, you're, you're going to be looking at right here about 36 packs. And this is probably about $2,000 worth of Pokemon Generations packs from a long, long time ago. Obviously, I'm going to say, oh, the code is not in the back. It's like, where's the, oh, wait, these don't have codes. There's no code? I was going to hide the code. So we didn't, all right, what do we got here? Common, what's the order? All right, what do we got? So, okay, so we got a nice little common foil. There's our uncommon. There's a rare. So what is the order of the pack? And then common, uncommon. Whoa, that's a weird order. All right, let's try that again. That is not the pack order I expected. So again, I personally broke these packs down from uh, actual different boxes and pre-constructed little gift boxes and everything. So I did not buy these in the secondary market. I know they are authentic. <coughs> Geodude. And yeah, like just these regular little hollows. It is wild wild what the prices are. Or there's another little rare. I mean, it is unbelievable. The sheer premium of just these, the collectors buying PSA graded versions of Generations cards. It is, it, it blows, like, everybody always asks me this. They're like, Rudy, how come Pokemon has that? But like in Magic, that's not a thing. It's a different, just a different market and economy and player base, Metapod. A nice little Wally. And we got a little rare here, Mr. Jinx. Flabby. And uh, that is it for that one. It's just, like, we're not even talking the crazy art, and, you know, crazy EX, crazy, I mean, just regular hollow rares like that are un, like, yeah, I was on eBay. Because I was, like, curious, like, you know, how expensive are, like, some of these graded cards? Okay, why are the packs in, like, different orders? Anybody notice that? Like, the pack order on these things is, that's kind of weird. Okay. Krabby. Ghastly. Meowth. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Beautiful cards. So we got a gorgeous red card trainer hollow, and we have our first fancy schmancy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Flareon EX. We're going to put you right over there. That's our first big hit of the opening. And yeah, like, I go online. Like, if you're a Pokemon graded card set collector, I'm, you know, obviously, you know, PSA 10 or whatever you're going after. Can you explain to me how you calculate the value? Like, I go online, and there's, like, PSA 9s and, like, PSA 10s of, like, these cards from Generations that are, like, three to $600 a card. And I don't, like, how is that calculated versus how cheap the raw cards are? Like, it's so, God, the pack order is just weird each time. Hey, do do Nice little, uh, ooh, okay, so we got a second hit here. Vaporeon. Beautiful, okay. And remember, folks, since these are from actually... <laughs> look at that, I love that art. Um, since these are just from me breaking things down, these 36 packs have no random order. So historically, um, we've done, we've done I think, one or two generation openings in the past over the lifespan of seven years on this channel. We haven't opened very many beautiful Pikachu art on that one. Another to duo Slow Pokey. And, okay, there's a Hollow. Um, but overall... The packs are random. Um, again, I broke these things down. Mostly from, uh, what are these, pin boxes? There were two generation packs, a promo, and a pin. And I did this uh, actually with my family when I opened, which card store location was that? Was it the card shop life store location? The one I filmed in the opening? I think it was when I opened that location that I was breaking these down. I don't know if I ever filmed that or not. I don't recall. It's been too many years. Sorry, everybody. That was like five, six years ago. Crabby. And beautiful, another hollow, God, look how gorgeous that is. Like the card quality looks really good too. I haven't seen really any, wow, look at this pack. Two hollows and another flipping fancy schmancy, wow, really? Okay, duplicate on that bad boy. 
Wow, okay, that's a lot of hits for only a few packs in. And again, there's no rhyme or reason. I had all these in the Rudy's Pokemon bathroom, uh, just literally randomized, just sitting in a giant box of packs. And I've had them sealed up there for uh, six years now. So yeah, there is no order when we open these things. And Wow, are you serious? Ooh. Wow. Beautiful card. Holy smokes. All right, there you go. Another fancy schmancy hit. Holy crap. So this is this is a phenomenal box opening so far. Holy smokes, everybody. Uh, Ryan, this is... You know, I know we only did one. I only I don't do a lot of these. I don't literally. I probably got maybe a half a box left of these packs. And I can't get any more. These, these things are so rare and expensive. But wow, what a good box opening so far! Beautiful team flare grunt <clears throat> slur. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> what a good opening! Good old Mega Blastoise EX for our holy smokes one two three, our fifth major hit. Ryan, you are cleaning up right now. We are a quarter of the way through the packs. You are already at five major hits, plus a ton of regular hollows. Holy crap. That is wild, Shauna. Oh my god. Bro. Dang, man. Some of these cards, I'm telling you all. Like, I was looking these up before the video, and I could not believe the graded prices on some of these big hits. This may be one of the best 36-pack generation box openings. Because uh, we did one. I, I tried to do one every like six months to a year. We don't, we don't do very many. But this, by far. I don't remember the other videos being anywhere near this good. Snorlax. And a beautiful. It's still gorgeous. Like, look at that subtle foiling, man. Like, look how it highlights the background. But it doesn't take away from it. This is a triple holo pack with a Raichu. Look at that. Snorlax. Wow. And a non-holo Raichu. Like, I, when I open something like this, I can see why it's so expensive. Like, I, I get it. I mean, there's very little printed. There's almost no sealed packs left in existence. And the cards are gorgeous. The quality of the cards, beautiful Magikarp. And a little Swirlix. And a triple hollow pack again with a nice little subtle golem there. The cards are gorgeous. The colors, the contrast. And the they have a definite unique feel compared to the newer sets. Not to mention the new block. Okay. Okay, so does the energy card in the front mean we have a big hit? Or does that mean we have a bad? Is it a bad pack? Okay, I'm thinking it means we have a big hit. Cloyster, beautiful. And our second hollow, a deadeen? Okay, so just two. So I don't know if that's good or bad, of course, Mr. Taurus there. I don't know if, like, if, if the order matters, kind of like the code card thing. Is there like some pattern to that? All right, Clefairy, energy, crabby. Beautiful Pikachu. Look at that nice Pikachu. I loved all the different styles on that. Like, did you even see this one? Like, look at the text box area. Look at the hollowing in the text box. Look how they highlight that. Very creative. Very well done. See, look at the text box on that. Beautiful. Snorlax. Hey, double energy. And energy switch in the back. All right, folks. We are about a third of the way through this video already. And, uh, yeah. This is, again, there's no rhyme or reason. <clears throat> when I just grab the packs from the Rudy's Bet Pokemon bathroom, some of the videos, I mean... Overall, Patreon. Ooh, that's our first uh, actually hollow energy. I've, that's actually, uh, I don't know how rare that is, but I have not seen one of those yet from this set. So, yeah, if I only knew a long time ago. Okay, energy's in the front. Do we have something crazy? So, Geodude, Doug Trio, very nice. And nice little Wally Trainer. That is a hollow Wally Trainer. No, and a Taurus, of course, and a little <laughs> Evo Soda. So, how many, so two, four, we're at six hits. Yeah, we're way, it's, so you're supposed to get one major hit every, what, three, four packs? I think it is. Crabby, beautiful Haunter. Gorgeous. <laughs> Slurpuff, is that a hollow? That is a hollow. And another hollow Raichu, wow. See, like, when I do a video like this, if you think about it, like, okay, these packs, at like $50 a pack, some outrageous amount of money. But if you look at the pools and the cards, and then you go online and look what people are willing to pay, Smurlax, like, oh, whoa, off center, miscut Flareon. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. We have a major misprint Flareon, so we got the Butterfree. Dude, check this out. I've never seen, wow. Literally cutting the bottom of the card. There is no border on the bottom. That is wild. I don't know if that's like, is it? Does that mean anything, the Pokemon world? Is there like a Pokemon misprint group? 
Dang. That's a wild pull. Okay. Ryan, you get some wild pulls in this video. That's why I like doing these. I don't like uh, Caterpie and another Flareon. Oh my god. I told you guys, this is not a booster box. These are just random packs I've had since release, and I broke these down myself. This is a phenomenal box opening. Wow. I don't think you can get much better than this. Oh my gosh. Machop, another Magic Carp, another flipping Pikachu. Jeez, man. Snorlax. Look at the pulls. Oh my god. We're only doing 36 packs? I feel like we're only doing 36 packs. Book of all. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Pinsler. What a pack opening video. A 30. This has got to be one of the best generations box openings like ever done. A, okay, this one had two energies in a row. Okay, that's kind of weird. Another Dodrio. Ooh, that is a hollow Zard. I don't even know you can get a Charizard in this. We have a hollow, beautiful Charizard. Holy smokes, that's got to be a hit. Godly. Like, how on earth is this even... See, these are the moments, like, when people say, I like, I when I talk to patrons about that, Mr. Mime, and a Slurpuff, and another, oh my god. Oh, no, this is a different Blastoise. We had Mega Blastoise last time. Holy smokes, dude. Dude, this is, Ryan, that you, this is incredible. I'm deleting the video, and I'm retiring at this point. Like, I would, have, what I would do, Ryan, is I was, I would probably get the, if you're keeping them for yourself, that's great. But if you, oh my god. Another flipping, jeez. I never, this is, this is unbelievable. Again, I tell everyone all the time, when patrons, they, when they privately message me and they ask to buy some of these old packs I have from years ago, I was like, dude, I broke them down myself. I didn't buy them from anyone else. I've had them. They are the real deal. And these are the moments when we crack 36 random packs that, holy smokes, are they the real deal, man. All right, beautiful, beautiful pun. Oh, another czar. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at this pack, man. Double charges. This is, this is, I don't think we're ever going to be able to top this. I don't think we're ever going to be able This is by far probably one of the, the craziest. Another Charizard. And that's, this is stupid. This is just stupid at this point. This is, this is just dumb. This is like, at this point in time, this is just completely and utterly insane. Part, oh my god. That, look at that card. And you gotta understand, folks. Again, go on eBay. You get these things graded. These things all grade for if, like between eight and ten. Like the value of these cards is insane, right? I'm running out of room. Have we hit everything in the set in 36 packs? I think if we hit literally every card in the set, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, here we go again. We have not hit that. I've had these things so long. I'm running out of room for all the hits. <laughs> These are the best moments of being a YouTuber, folks. When we literally open something, oh my god! All right, this is just getting this is just getting out of control. <laughs> Our fourth flaring on EX. <laughs> this is just out of control, man. We we're just doing thirty six. Like this happens again. There's no rhyme or reason to these packs, folks. These are all packs. Oh my god. Or, or wait a minute. Now hold on. Now hold on. Enough. Like, okay. At this point in time, is this particular set is is this particular set easier to pull these cards? Am I am I is everyone making fun of me in the comment section saying that Rudy, you're you're laughing and all these cards are easy. Oh my god. Are easy to pull. Like are they all easy to pull? And I'm just freaking... This is insane. There's no way this is normal. Mega Charizard. We don't even have that pull yet. Like, I, I don't I don't understand. <coughs> Alright, what do we got here? A beautiful colorless Dending. A triple Hollow Gengor. Gengor? Gengor? 
Like, I don't, I just don't. The only way I can figure this point in time is the pool rates are easier, and I'm freaking out over nothing. Olympia. That, like, this is, maybe the, the pool rates have got to be easier. Like, maybe the pool rates on this particular generation of this era or something. Oh, beautiful, Machamp. I don't remember getting that regular hollow. I'm thinking the pool rates were better back then. Like, they were easier to get them. And that's why we're getting so many, because this is just absurd. Like, at this point in time, like, this is absurd. Like, this is this is stupid. This is our fifth one. Look at this back! Like, this is just insane. How is this? This is not... Like... I've never opened 36 Pokemon packs and had every single pack some absolutely insane, off-the-chart hollow. Like, this is just insane. Diglett. In a flipping merchant, triple hollow regular pack. But see, this if if all the packs are this easy to pull, then I understand why these cards are are I mean the packs are so expensive because you get so many. Ooh, another hollow. And a third hollow Charizard. Beautiful Charmander. That I I don't know. Folks, that's all I have. Ryan, thanks for being a patron, I guess, and just absolutely let me zoom out a little. Getting probably the most surreal, hold on, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You have 23 insane hits out of 36 packs. <laughs> That's just fucking stupid. Like, Ryan, like just, bro, send all these cards off for grading. Even if they all come back 8s and 9s, like you're gonna like, like how much money is that? Like, even at $50 a booster pack, you're going to come out, like, is this like a double up, a triple up? Like, I don't even know what the numbers are on this. I I don't know. I can't wait to see the comment section of this video. And, like I said, maybe I'm freaking out over nothing. And maybe some of you all out there are more familiar with Generations. I recall, like, six months to a year ago when we did another Generations opening. I don't remember it being this insane. That's all I got. Congratulations, Ryan. Fucking crazy.